Welcome to Real Physics. I'd like to share a speculative thought with you about spin and the nature of reality. And, well, maybe you have to be acquainted a little bit with the problem of spin. One key experiment is the stern gerlach experiment. And it's very, very strange that the spin coming out from a beam with random orientations just has these two possibilities either be aligned with the magnetic field or in the opposite direction and that's very very strange and the other thing is based on the einstein podolsky rosen thought experiment well you have a system like an atom with two different spins and the directions are opposite and of course each spin is measured randomly and once you have measured one direction immediately the other one knows how to uh, orient himself and that happens also if the system is separated and these two spins are at a distance that's very very strange and as already einstein complained it seems to contradict special relativity but it has been experimentally confirmed so you might argue that this spin phenomenology defies any reasonable imagination of reality and well a very speculative thought is that could spin possibly be rather than a property of particles a property of space-time itself or what we believe it to be and you know i've mentioned several times quaternions but here's the thing quaternions have this property of having a double cover or being a double cover that means it's a kind of twofold mathematical structure that maybe can cover space-time with just another version of it. So usually the usual picture of quantum mechanics is that you have space-time and then you define a wave function, usually a complex valued wave function, that if you square it, if you square the absolute value, gives the, the probability of finding an electron in a certain place, but evidently it's not complete. You have to postulate other functions if you are dealing with another particle, and even for the spin this simple description fails. Normally people would argue, well, you have Dirac equation and that formalism, but actually the algebra is here also very similar to the algebra of unit quaternions. So one thing is that you might speculate that instead of this complex valued function, you are dealing with quaternion valued functions. Maybe that could give a deeper or more reasonable description of quantum mechanics, but as a speculation, which is even more exotic, you could also think about space itself having this double cover. That means if you distinguish space-time and the function on top of it, that's usually called a fiber bundle, the bundle being space-time and the fiber being the complex numbers in that case. It could replace the fiber, but you could also think about replacing the bundle itself. So all this strange phenomenology of spin could be a giant misunderstanding about the nature of reality. We believe to live in more or less ordinary, ordinary three-dimensional space, but instead that space could exist twofold in the sense that there is such a double, double cover. Well, I have covered the riddles of spin in a couple of videos and I have also argued that space-time might have to do something with quaternions, which is a very old thought of Rowan William Hamilton. And a little bit more detail and elaboration about this speculation you find in my book, The Mathematical Reality. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.